Afternoon Express, and we are having a fantastic time. You know, great minds think alike, but the greatest mind is the mind behind this next recipe. Oh, yes. Okay, well, we're talking about Mokhao, the lazy Makoti. She's ready to take us through two of her favorite vegetable recipes that are both so equally delicious that you won't miss the meat. Good. Uh, where do we start? <laughs> lazy Makoti. <laughs> Yes, you won't miss the meat. Oh, Tabi so trying to convince himself, I won't miss the meat. Well, no, I don't I want to miss the meat. I won't miss the meat. <laughs> okay, this, so it's all about flavor, I imagine. Then. It's all about flavor. This is just as satisfying mm. and, like you said, is very cost efficient. Mm. In here, I am frying my onions. I've got some garlic and ginger, again, building that flavor. Mm. And then I'm going in with a few spices, um, starting with my cumin and then my turmeric and just frying that. Mm. Turmeric is such a power food for me. Mm. I have these turmeric lattes, golden lattes yes. in the morning. It's so, so incredible. It helps you on the inside and on the outside. Use this, as put a, a little this, that. Use it as a I've mask. Seen you on your Instagram. <laughs> Use it as a mask. So it's so interesting to me that we're also using this powerhouse of mm -hmm. ingredients in this recipe. So here's the thing, Mohan, and tell me if I'm wrong. I often find people can get it wrong at the spice period Ooh. of the recipe, where the spice that they add, they don't, they, they're not phasing them in at the right time. Mm, and cooking them out. Yeah. I, definitely. So that is the secret, definitely, cooking them out. Mm. I've added in my tomato, so a nice base for our lentil curry. So just mix that in, allow that to cook. Question, for someone like me who's always on the go, I see that you use fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Could we opt for either tinned or canned tomatoes or a tomato paste? You definitely can use the, the canned tomatoes. For us girls that love convenience, you definitely can. Okay. So just, and guys. And of course, of course. <laughs> Enter the gents into the chat. Okay, yeah. fine, you're welcome into the chat. <laughs> so I have soaked my lentils. Um, this just helps them cook a little bit faster. So I'm going to add my soaked overnight lentils. I'm adding in my potatoes. Mm. Then we're going to add in some water and just allow this to cook. Honestly, you can feed a hundred people out of this one pot. Yes. I mean, almost quite literally, really, because they go and go and go. They, they do. The gift that keeps on giving. They do, they right? do. Well, the other thing I love about this is that it also freezes very well. So you can make one big batch and then as and when you need it, with those rolls that we made earlier, mm. yes. perfect. Yes. <laughs> okay, I like yes. that. Tabsy's already dove in and had a taste. Mm. How is you know, it? I like the combination of what we've got here because people are a lot more conscious of what they put in their bodies. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a papa, all the papa and all of that, we've been eating so much of it. We want to cut down. Mm -hmm. So this is a good way to still get the favorites of yours without you know, overstepping and overindulging and then over. Yes. <laughs> Expanding. Yes. We're trying to get back to that place. So in here, I just need a whisk and then I'm yeah, gonna season my boiling water. So you want the water to be boiling uh, before you add in your maize meal. Why are we adding salt to uh, boiling water? Are we making, what are we making? We are making khodu. So in Sepedi, it's called khodu, but mm. it's very similar to a Zulu isi jingli. Mm. And it's basically a, pum a pumpkin pup. Oh, which is this? Yes, and like a porridge. Mm. Yes, thank you. It's a lot you. smoother and a lot softer. It's sweet. Yes, too. yes. So you can make this as sweet or, or as savory as you want, mm. really. Mm. So just adding in a little bit of your maize. Not too much because we do want it to still be a little runny, mm. like a porridge. Mm. Mm. And light. Light, yes. On this part of your body. Yes. So while I'm doing this, you're going to mash um, for me. Mm -hmm. So you want to do this mixing, this part here, really quickly because once it starts um, boiling, it burns. Have you ever had a pup burn? I have. Oh, Yo. I'm embarrassed. I don't even want to speak about this. Yo. Uh, Lazy Makotin, all the yes. times that you spend time with me in the kitchen, can you believe that I have never been made pup? in my life. As a, Zulu girl, as a Zulu girl, I'm embarrassed. Is this acceptable, Lazy Mark? We are re revoking your South African card. So maybe I should take over you and do me my first time. <laughs> I know my South African card is gone. You do not have the right to call yourself a South African. Whoa, I agree, boy. I agree. But maybe if I take over, and hopefully I don't, uh, hopefully I can do you proud. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> so you want to get rid of those lumps, so mix, 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 mix. I'm so stressed. <laughs> 
it's it's for me. <laughs> it's stressful. Uh, but listen, we've made this super easy for you mm -hmm. so that you have less stress. Go on to afternoonexpress.co.za. But we also want you to make give up. stick around. This is a whole masterclass. Uh, the Lazy Makoti is here, really mm -hmm. taking us through the best of her book, uh, hosting with the Lazy Makoti. So now, is this that the time where you add that mashed pumpkin mm -hmm. into yes. the pup mixture? Yes. So now you add, it's going to give it that beautiful um, mm -hmm. colour that we've got there. Please add a little bit more. Let's go like this. This is definitely a labour of love. I yes, mixed it up like two times and my arm <laughs> was done. So not only is the gym coming in <laughs> when we're kneading the bread, but the gym is also coming in when we're stirring the pots. But I'm so arms. here for it. That explains our arms, yeah. Yes. Strong. <laughs> so I'm just mixing this in. I want it to be nicely mixed. Mm. Um, so one thing that is optional um, is the sugar as well as the peanut butter. Okay. This is my grandma's recipe, so she always added that. This is a great um, porridge to have for breakfast. So, so much flavor in this as well. Yep. This moment is almost ready for our peanut butter. So you always want to make sure that there are no lumps or as little as possible. And Quite then smooth. we stir in that peanut butter. Okay. Yes. Now, you did touch base on your uh, social media. You have got one of the most phenomenal following, but not only following engagement. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's one thing to post recipes. Yes, it's one thing to post your plates. But you actually have people engaging with you on a constant basis. They're asking you questions. They're wanting the selfies. How do you achieve that? Do you think it's just your likability, <laughs> the fact that you feel like, she's the girl next door? Or, or do you believe it's the powers in the future? Um, I think a little bit of both. Yeah. Um, I think when I started doing this, that's what I set out to do. To make people feel like they're not alone when they mm. are in the kitchen. You have that friend that's got your back. Mm. Um, I'm sharing recipes mm. that are accessible, that you love, that are easy to make. Yep. Um, the ingredients must always be in your fridge or your pantry. Mm. So nothing that's going to be too difficult for you to find. And you're going to make something delicious. And nothing intimidating. Yes. Tabsy has already given his stamp of approval. It's mm. delicious. No, full on. To get this recipe, make sure to visit afternoonexpress.co.za. And for all the meat lovers, we haven't forgotten about you. We're getting meaty with the Lazy Makoti's Samp and Lamb Bones. Class is in session.